start off in our heads, we're like, well, what if we did weekend like Halo tournaments? Let's do this a few days a week. Then it turned into five days a week, and then it turned into seven days a week. It's really built for performance. It's built to give you significant leg up competitively. The benefit of being at a place like Patriot Place is that you're around this exciting dynamic environment. There's not many facilities like this. We knew what the mission was, and that was to be core to the DNA of esports in the local communities in every market. And then we got all these inquiries about boot camps for professional organizations. It's remarkable for a couple of 20-somethings that can hold their own in just about any environment. I'm Jack Vanderveld. And I'm Murph Vanderveld, and we are the founders of Helix Esports. Our center in North Bergen and our center here in Foxborough are two of the five largest in the U.S. Gaming's always been a big part of both of our lives. Uh, I'll never forget when my dad brought us home an Xbox. I think it had the original Halo on it. Um, which we probably shouldn't have been playing that age, but I went to a GameStop and bought a refurbished Xbox. We'd sit them right next to each other, and we'd play together with two TVs. That was, I guess, the first creation of a mini Helix. Being high school and collegiate athletes, both Jack and I recognized that there was a clear path to the next level to achieve how you get to where you want to go. And for eSports, it's very much been basement to international superstar. And so if there's such a need in the industry right now for amateur grassroots first step out of the basement competition scene. Hi, I'm Murphy Vanderveld and I'm one of the founders of uh, Helix Esports. I had no idea what they were talking about. I mean, I know they played games, they were in the basement with their friends and I could, you know, you hear them yelling from their rooms when they're playing on their PCs or consoles. But they then convinced me by showing me what was happening out in the, in the real world around esports. It's been fun to watch Big Murph bring his expertise from his extensive professional career and teach us how to run a business. But it's also been fun to watch him learn and kind of get engrossed in a world in which I never envisioned him knowing anything. So every center has um, kind of our bread and butter, which is the high-end gaming computers. Uh, and then we have our traditional consoles, which are PlayStation, Xbox, and Switch. We have our virtual reality racers, um, two of which are the first in North America to have the swiveling bottom. Um, so if you hit a hard turn, you actually feel it moving underneath you, which is really cool. And then you'll see our main stage over here where we host events anywhere from high school Rock League tournaments to Boston Uprising watch parties. Uh, and then we have our full service restaurant, which we call Bites. That's actually probably our biggest accomplishment yet, was coming up with that name. And my dad, you can thank him for that one. Uh, I don't think so. You can thank someone with the name Murph for that name. Yes. But certainly not Murph Senior. Big Murph. Yeah. Sometimes you feel like you have to referee uh, different arguments. You feel like you're, you know, back when they're eight, nine years old. Working with family is interesting in, in, in an awesome way. And I think if you were to ask my mother and my sister, their reaction would be a lot different because it's very easy and natural for this, for Helix conversations to take over. It's definitely been a, a family affair. My wife has picked out furniture and helped with lighting, and my daughter has helped with photo shoots and, and logo design. It's been a lot of fun, but there's definitely trying moments, I think more so than a normal business, but the highs are also far more high because it's a tremendous amount of pride. At the end of the day, I think working with the family is, is if you do it right, can be one of the most rewarding and, and, and deadly combinations there is. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a whole team over here. Right here, coming up, coming up, coming up, coming. Yeah, got it. From day one opening to now and what it's evolved to is, is very different. I think we started off thinking quick play, like walk in the door, play by the hour. Um, I think we thought about birthday parties and we thought about tournaments. Our real jumping off point was around the Fortnite World Cup. At one point there was 90 of the top players playing in our center at one time getting ready for the World Cup. We actually had to shut down to the public to make sure that we could accommodate all of the pros. That event really kicked it off for us, and that's why I'll always have kind of a special place in my heart for that. I think it's hard to pinpoint the biggest accomplishment. We were official after party of Psionics and Epic. It's really fun to be able to work with the professional organizations. Local high school teams, they wanted to compete in the same spot, like a track meet. BASE is a non-for-profit sports organization for inner city kids that focus on basketball and baseball. And we've actually built out a micro center there to help them do more STEM education. If you ask us a year later, I'm sure we'll have even more. Here we go. 22 Shield in the back. Must be this guy right here. You gotta be passionate. And I think passion and believing in what you're doing is critical. We'll be in the middle of a Fortnite game, middle of a Call of Duty game, and then by playing together, like, you know, we don't have 
so-and-so at Helix. We don't do this at Helix, but we're doing it now. We like it. How do we add this? So it, it definitely adds to business development, but most importantly, it's, it's just fun. We love this. We've invested a lot of our time and our life into it because we truly believe that it's going to make an impact. We truly believe that we're doing the right thing. We are very small at the moment, but we have big ambitions and, and we do want to have a major hub in every city and we want people to have this community. And I think there's a lot more big things to come, but we're super happy with what we've accomplished so far. They have been great about articulating their vision and executing their vision. Watching that is, is a lot of fun. And the moment we don't like playing video games is probably the moment we don't like doing this and, and we play a lot of video games now, so I hope we will enjoy this for a long time.